Hello guys, it's me again, Take the Screw Out. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and if you like this video, please click that thumbs up icon and share this video. That would help me a lot, help this channel and to make more tutorial video for you. By the way, regarding all the tools and equipment you see in this video, just check the description below for the link of Amazon US and Amazon UK. Thank you. Let's begin the tutorial. The drill bits that we're going to use is Phillips screw 0 or Fitch, Fitch O and VH1. And I'm going to use this screwdriver as well, Phillips screw and electric wow stick screwdriver. Okay, the first thing to do, if you're going to remove the fan and clean the fan and the heat sink, you just remove four screw to take off the shroud. This one, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to use the VH0 screw bits. disconnect these two connector for the for the fan and for the LED and to remove the fan each fan has through screws one two three one two three Both of this fan is identical. So this is the fan number, part number. And the one on the left. Okay, set this aside. Then we have to remove, separate the heat sink from the PCB board. Just four screw, one, two, three, four. To remove the back plate from the PCB, you have to unscrew 11 screw. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 screw that you're going to use T6, T6 screw bits or Tango 6. And this 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 screw, you're going to use H1 Phillips screwdriver. So we have to remove first the 4 screw with the H1. So the thermal pads thickness that has been used for this two little heat sink from here and this one here is it's one millimeter and this one for the VRAM also one millimeter so remove this seven screw one two three four five six seven using T six screw bits And 
that's the back plate. The back plate is like a plastic one, so it's not metal. <clears throat> when cleaning the heat sink and the PCB, I recommend to use either a brush, just an ordinary paintbrush, or air blower. This air blower is X power, it's a 500 watt, it's really powerful, so it could blow up all the dust. To clean up the residue, I will use a cotton pads and 99.9% .9 isopropyl alcohol. Don't use 70% isopropyl alcohol. It should be 99.9% .9 so that it could be safe and it could dissipate quickly, dries up quickly. To clean the fan, you need to be patient. You have to do it one by one, the blades. And for the thermal paste, I'm going to use the Arctic MX4 for this video. And also I recommend the Noctowa into H2 and the SYY thermal paste. It's really, really good. So it's time to put it back together. So first I have to replace the back plate. Back plate and the seven screw with using the T6 screw bits. check and make sure it's aligned properly looks good let's carry on I made a mistake on this one this goes here I 
and make sure you're not gonna over tighten it just snug fit little heat sink I'm going to use the VH1 screw driver And it has one millimeter thickness of the thermal pads. Okay, put this aside and we had to put it back together the fan make sure they are on the right side So for the fan screw, I'm going to use the VH1 screwdriver. And check everything is aligned. Looks good. And then check the fan for the spin. You have to make sure it doesn't catch the screw. Looks good. Okay, put this one aside. It's time to put back the heatsink. You have to check for the alignments. Looks good. So for the head sink, four screw, and I'm using the VH1. Then lastly, put it back the heatsink to the PCB. First, you have to connect the fan connector and the LED light. And screw in the full screw for the chips. Thank you for watching.